Hey guys, my name is Jordi from Cinecom and recently I made a new short film in collaboration with Adobe called The Game of Life. It's about a researcher who suddenly makes a big discovery, but unfortunately it doesn't really go his way. We worked with an entire team on this short film and luckily Adobe makes that collaboration process super easy for the post-production and fast with the extension Frame.io, which works for both Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. I'm going to showcase it using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now we're going to start off by opening up the Creative Cloud desktop app and click on Stock and Marketplace. There is so much to be discovered on the Marketplace, so definitely have a look around. Now I'm going to search for Frame.io and simply install that. Once done, open up Premiere Pro and start a new project. We can call up Frame.io from the menu on top Window, Extensions, and choose Frame.io. It's going to prompt you to log in. If you haven't got an account yet, you can create one, of course. Now, the reason that you do need an account is that you don't actually need Premiere Pro to use Frame.io. This is useful for clients who don't have that and just like to use the web interface. So once your account is set up, we have access to Frame.io in Premiere. By default, we'll see a demo project, but we're going to create a new one and I'll name it Game of Life. We have a whole bunch of options like permissions and notifications in here. Just click create for now. Now I want to start off by adding team members and you can invite them through email and they will then get a notification to join the project. So the idea of Frame.io is to upload and download. You can make changes, upload those, other team members can then download those changes. So we have a sequence right here with a first rough edit. So from the top, we'll choose upload active sequence. Now these are red raw files right here, which are super big in size. So obviously I don't want to upload those. So Frame.io is going to upload a compressed version of that. And you can choose a preset. You can choose the range of what needs to be uploaded and where it needs to transcode those proxies to on your local machine. So we just hit upload. Media Encoder will launch and automatically render the files to upload. So I have invited Janik to the team. He can now review my edit and give feedback. There are many different tools that he can use, such as the normal comment input, which will place his comment on the right time code, as well as use the brush to draw annotations, which helps him to better explain what he likes to have changed. Janik is also going to set the edit status as needs review, which can be done from here. Now, all of his feedback is being updated instantly on my end. When I double click now on any of his comments, I can see the entire conversation and easily add a reply if I want to. Or when I completed an adjustment, I can mark it as complete. So for instance, here Janik asks if I can zoom in a bit more on the talent. I'm going to make that adjustment by simply creating a scale animation. I can then upload my active sequence again, which is going to get a second version since I'm working in the same sequence. And we can see that right here on the top. Now, Janik will see these changes and if he likes them, he can approve the project by changing the status. So this is in a nutshell how you can work fast and efficient together in a team or with clients. I have three more tutorials from my short film, so definitely check out the playlist in the description down below for that. And if you haven't seen the Game of Life short film yet, you can also find the link to it down below. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.